New at 5, we're learning more about the sudden death of a Bentonville High School baseball player. Stefan Griskavitz died in an accident at Beaver Lake this weekend. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker is here now with what authorities say happened and how Stefan is being remembered. Stefan Griskavitz was with his friends near Eureka Springs at the North Dam side of Beaver Lake. His friends were jumping off the bluffs, but being scared of heights, Stefan was standing back watching. As they went to leave, he slipped on a rock and fell 50 feet off the bluff. As they mourn tonight, Stefan's family shares his story. We're amazed at the lives he's touched, so we'll miss him, but his legacy will live on through the people he's touched. Stefan Griskavitz died less than two weeks before graduating from Bentonville High School. He played baseball and had signed to play at Eastern Oklahoma State College next school year. It's every parent's nightmare to have your son so close to graduation and to be tragically taken. So it's been very hard. But we believe in the Lord. We know God is in control. Jan Griskavitz says her son had strong faith. He's walking in a place with streets of gold, loving it. He's with the great people that went before him. Great baseball player, so I said he got called up to the real big league. Tony Woody was Stefan's cousin. The two were always close, but Tony says they spent every possible minute together for the last two years. Also a member of the Bentonville baseball team, Tony plans to honor his cousin by continuing on to Eastern Oklahoma State College where the two would have been teammates and roommates. I'm just going to miss how unregretful he lived life. He lived life to the fullest, and that's one thing I can tell everyone proudly, that he never had any regrets. He lived life to the fullest. He did everything that made him happy, never did anything to make him sad. Family tell they appreciate the love and support they have gotten from the community, and they've loved hearing stories about Stefan. The family will have a celebration of live service on Saturday at First Baptist Church, Bentonville. Katherine Gilker, 5 News.